yeah. being yeah. genuine with the person. Yeah. So. You yeah. get, you get, I mean, I, if I look at personally, it's like <coughs> I love work, working with teenagers, mm. Mm. but I cannot work with children. You cannot. I cannot. I cannot mm. work with little children. Oh. I don't have the the patience. It's not my 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 yes, area. That's your structure. That's my area. I can't do that. Even so personally, you do like you love little children. I love little children. Yeah, you still. <laughs> But, but you cannot you work with them. Mm. But I cannot work with them. I can't sit and, and I, I don't have the patience to work That's with right. a child. But I can sit with a teenager for two days without talking. Yeah. Hmm. It's just it's just who you are. So so you will, will you might get the client who you come in who no one else can, can actually connect with and suddenly you can connect with that person. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. Same with like tutoring. There's some students that, that connect with one tutor and some with another. Mm. That's right. We all connected with Miss Heather. <laughs> That's why we have to send her away. We all your We all your children, Cory. But then some people get on with with most of the tutors and might be just one yeah. they don't. You know? Yeah, yeah. It depends on your own it's, personality. It's having a connection. It, it is also a choice too. It's a choice, it, yeah. it, it, it is a choice to um, yeah, to, to continue to grow and you may not be able to work with kids yeah. now, but you can work with kids later. It's just yeah, finding yeah. where you're at. I've tried it. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> no, Once they cry... Maybe when you're old and great. Yeah. Yeah. So you're still a spring chicken. Yes. It's oh, an attitude no, process. Right. The therapist have to have not, doesn't have a facade. The therapist is authentic. Okay? Be authentic. Be genuine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's a problem working with children. It's like if you can't fake it with children. Yeah, they are, yeah. they know it. They know it. So yeah. if you want to be a child, well, smart. Yeah. If you want to be a child therapist, you really have to be able to connect. Okay. So not everyone's area of expertise, but as you develop in your counselling, you will realise what's your area. Mm -hmm. See, I, I can see me working with teenagers. I want to shoot them. Actually, I love them. I love to work I... with children. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do I show con congruent congruence in counseling? How do I show it? How do I how show? Do you, how do you show congruence? Yeah. You be yourself. Okay. So, so you be. Be self, okay? Right? Build trust. Build trust. Okay. With your client. That's the, that's the foundation yeah, of cancer. That's right. Trust is the foundation. Foundation of life. That's the yes, foundation right. of life, actually. Trust is actually. Trust. No matter what you use, if it's CBT, uh, PCT, so, narrative, no matter. no matter what you use, you can't go anywhere without trust. <laughs> I you think you've highlighted talk. enough now. <laughs> you can't go anywhere without trust. Okay, so you, you can need... And em em empathy. Okay. It comes okay. up. You, you it comes need... up later. Yeah. You be yourself. You, sh you trust. I mean, any relationship. That's no right. Trust. Trust. Whether no it's right. with an elderly person, whether it's a mm. child, whether it's a teenager. Um, you need trust. You cannot counsel without trust. When you build that bridge of trust, yeah. not only with the, but with anybody else in your life, yeah. you are a winner. And remember, trust goes both ways. Yes, okay. right. That's right. We always tend to say that the client needs to trust me, the client needs to trust me, I need to build trust with no, the client. You need to trust the client. Right. But if you no. get to a point where you don't trust your client. That's right. You're no good to that client if you can't trust them. Yes. I once had a client which I said, sorry, I don't trust you. I can't work with you. Mm. But you're honest. I'm honest. So that's what I was brought up on trust. Yeah. Well, oh, right. trust trust is a basis. It's a it's a oh, it basic yeah. human need. Yeah, it's a human need. It's trust. like we need to trust. Right trust. Yeah. And okay. non non judgmentalism. Non judgmental. Yeah. It's important yeah. also that the client does not feel judged. Yes. Okay. So we can sit there and that's part of being authentic. You can sit there and you look like, Oh, you're so wonderful. And inside, like you are really judging the person. Yeah. 
Mm. People okay. tell people pick that up. Yeah, that's right. In your facial expression, your, oh, your body, body language, language facial yeah. expressions, who you are, what you're doing, people pick it up. Yeah, okay, right. so and that's another thing too. Probably, verbal and your non-verbal. Probably you verbal too. Yeah. yeah. The so same. If you look at if you look at the case study of Brad and his girlfriend, his partner who beats him up. Yeah. Okay. Your first reaction would be, get a life, dude. <laughs> No, it might be, why are you letting this woman do this to you? Mm. Mm. Yeah, but still, you don't like to do that. I know, but that's what I'd be thinking. That's your thinking? Yeah. But still, your body language would show like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, mm, mm. yes, yes, uh, she locks you in the room, yeah. Mm. Mm. How does that make you feel? Mm. All the time Instead of you sitting there, it's like, you are such yeah. a woman. It's like, Suki Lala. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you want to be beat up, go for it. No. You, as a counsellor, show absolutely respect to your client. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your client is important. See, she might be a psychopath, too, so you've got to be careful. You never know what's behind that. Yeah. He could also be lying. But we're not... We're not but you're dealing with the client, yeah. not the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah that's, that's exactly what, what I just want to say. Thanks, Grant. It's yeah. like what Kathy said, this, but the girlfriend could be this or this yeah. or that. The girlfriend's not your client. Mm. You've got to deal with your client. He's your client. The problem is the problem. And another point, yeah. Sorry, point. but what I was thinking, I'm still with the client, because yeah. you don't know. She might be a psychopath. Yeah. That's how you're dealing right. with it. And that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes, the... I don't know for some reason, a lot of times it was coming to my mind that even outside the sessions, the counsellor, he can ring his client. Hello John, would you like to have a cup of coffee with me today? To your client. Build that bridge of trust and acquaintance I think with we him. Yeah, we, we, don't we don't do that. No. no. We don't do that. We don't build friendship relationships. No. That, that's where we've got our boundary. Okay, so your client can only like if we if we look at uh, in treatment the series we're looking at. Right. They only see him once a week for an hour. Right. Okay. That's how far it goes. Yeah, okay? most an of hour. Therapy. That's it. Okay. Because yeah. you could be working for an organisation, not just yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And also, right. yeah. and also, um, there's also a. Also, a thing about the payment. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know it sounds like we're not doing this for the money, but part of the part of the process is actually your client knows this is a formal formal thing. I go there, I pay for a professional person. Professional, to, yeah. It's not right. my friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If he yeah. wants to talk to his friends, mm. go make a friend. Mm. Okay. If you want a friend, go to e Harmony. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, because mm. if if you become a friend of these outside of the counselling, when they come, it, it, it changes it the changes. whole, whole atmosphere, plus, yeah. oh, well, you know, we're friends, do I have to pay this yes. thing, I can't afford it. Yeah, I can't afford it, I've got an issue, issue yeah. um, can, I, can I owe you, yeah. and then we've got this one. Um, I killed it again. Jewel. Yes. Yeah. Jewel relationships. Yeah. What's the meaning of jewel? Jewel relationships means that Two. I know you. Ah, two. It means two. Yeah. yeah. It's like two. it's like if I. Yeah. Let's say um, we we do we play tennis together. All right. We yeah. play tennis on a Saturday at the tennis club. All right. Now suddenly you come to my counseling room and you're my client. Oh. So I know you as mm. my partner in tennis, <laughs> but now suddenly you're my client. That's right. Yes. Your relationships. Sorry. Yeah. Or. It can also be like, you my friend, and your daughter comes to see me. Mm. So That's there's right. a connection, because suddenly you're, you're coming to see me, yes. or your daughter seeing me. But I know a lot of stuff, because you've been talking to me about your daughter. Mm. True. Mm. So, so I am, my confidentiality is like, you come to me and you say to me, you know my daughter is doing this and this and this. I've got all this info about what's happening in her mind. But, but I cannot That's share right, that with yeah. you. So it's it's a problem. That's right. So so dual relationships. So that's we, why we don't build friends. We leave it just professional. It's just professional. It's like you don't go to a lawyer and 
Mm -hmm. if you, if, if you yeah, you. Even, even though um, we do use friends and relatives in our in our practice when we're learning, yeah, yeah, we we you know. But once you're trained, you're always going to use those skills anyway. Right. However, in a professional environment, you stay can't, away. They stay, have, away. Yeah. stay away from yeah. friendships. Yeah. I mean, you can have friends, but don't counsel friends and don't build. No. Both bridges don't cross the border. You've got to have strong boundaries. Yeah. We've got to cross, cross the boundary. Yeah, strong boundaries. You've got to boundaries. They don't cross the boundary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your client stays your client. Right. Uh, your client stays your client even if they die. Right. Yes. Okay. So um, even if he's dead, he's still your client. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Which means is you still respect the conversations you had with him. When he was a client, yeah. Profession. Yeah. I've, um, I know a counsellor who, one of his clients passed away, and he said to me, um, I didn't even go to the funeral. He didn't even? He didn't go to the funeral, he says, because I respect my client. He says, and I don't want to sit there and someone ask me, from where do you know him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I want to say, I'm his counsellor. Like, like in right. treatment. Yeah, mm. that's yeah right. so, so that's that's respect. Yeah. Okay, mm. your client stays your client. We don't go to our clients' weddings. No. Because they'll like you. You have this person. There's two couples. They're getting married. They went through marriage counseling, whatever. Things are happy. They're getting married. They invite you. You sit by at a table. Something. Oh, where do you know the couple from? I'm the counselor. There goes my confidence. So you are exposing yeah, that's his. That's right. That's you are exposing his yeah, yeah. past and his life. So yeah. you. That's very And then cool. people start thinking. Oh, why did they need to go to, to right. counselling? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with them? So every yeah. time you see them, yeah. then those thoughts come. Boundaries. Okay, right. boundaries. Yeah, Always yeah, think of the right. boundary. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Cross the boundary. Yeah. Don't cross the boundary. Don't cross the boundary. Right. Actually, the, the in treatment, because um, I bought one of the series and I have to buy the next one because I'm so hooked, um, she actually said it's it goes past boundaries, it goes past professionalism, it goes past... And what does she say? She says it goes... It's actually become, they become part of you, is basically mm. what, yeah. what she was saying. They, they become part of you, and mm. for you to, you can never put that therapeutic yeah. relationship aside. Right, to yeah. To make it completely That's clear. right. Yeah. Well, so. for them, it is a secret. For them, it is secret. Yeah, exactly. And we have to keep it. Yeah. We have to keep their secret. Yeah, exactly. C-I-A. Don't forget we're on. They're recording, guys. Right? Okay. So the next one is unconditional positive regard. Yeah. For people to grow and fulfil their potential, it is important that they are valued as themselves. Yeah. Okay. Valued yeah. as themselves. Okay. What's wrong with your pen today? I used the wrong side. Um, so. Okay. I, you value them as themselves. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So unconditional positive regard. Okay? We are always positive towards like when you do PCT, you're always positive towards your client. Okay? Yeah. You don't go and say, you know, the, the, the one on the one hand you say this, on the other hand you're doing this, that sort of thing. You find the positives. Like, so how how what what good did you get from that story? Or what good did you get out of that situation? Or yeah. or what what how did you feel about that? So what was good about that? Mm -hmm. So positive. Okay, PCT is we get our client to be positive. Mm -hmm. okay. So this refers to the therapist's deep and genuine caring for the client. You genuine care for your client. Yes. If you're not a caring person, unfortunately there are people who are not caring person. Don't do PCT. I'm, I'm not saying don't be a counselor. No. I'm saying don't use PCT. Mm -hmm. Use CBT or narrative or all the other ones. That there's, there are heaps and heaps of, of different ones out there. If you, the really caring person that can sit with a person, can sit with a situation, this is the one for you. Yeah. Okay. The therapist has to be careful to always maintain a positive attitude to the client. No matter if the client breaches your moral code. Yeah. Mm. 
So if if you you've got to try and maintain all the time, but yeah. if you're feeling yeah. that you need someone to talk to, you should go to your supervisor and yeah. say this is how I'm feeling, so that you don't put it on the <coughs> client. You don't put it on the client. You don't put it on the client. You just you don't see yeah. someone yeah. Yeah. to. Yeah. Even if the client comes and he bre breaches your moral code, okay, mm -hmm. you, 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 the counsel, you're not in a position to say what do you think you're doing. Mm. Mm. Right. Okay. All right. We are respecting <coughs> our client. We're careful to always maintain a positive attitude. Always be positive towards your client. Okay. Even if. Even if your client comes with a terrible story, like I've been diagnosed with a terrible disease and I'm dying, okay? Find something to, to, to lift him up. To lift him up. Yeah. To lift her up. Yes. Okay? Because oftentimes attitude can yeah. heal. Yeah. Attitude heals. Yeah. When you go yeah. at the end of the session, when you do your own debrief or when you go to your counselor, then you can cry about your client. But not in front of your client. No. Okay. We, we're positive, we, we're lifting up, person-centered. It's a positive type of thing. We're being strong for them. Yeah, yeah. so is it possible to have an unconditional positive regard for a client? Is it positive? Uh, possible? Yeah, it is. Yeah. How can you do it? How They're focusing on what the client needs. Focus on the client. Yeah. yeah. Focus on who the client is. Yeah. Okay. It is positive. Focus on, on who they are, what they, the core of your client, the essence of your client. Yeah. Who is your client? Just got your okay, so, so that's what we do. It is possible to have an unconditional positive regard of your client. Even if your client 